Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well and today. We're going to be talking once again about the news that broke just yesterday that Kathleen Kennedy has indeed been offered a contract extension for the next three years or so and there is just no... Uh, question about it that this is going to be very very uh very very hard on star wars fans at least hardcore star wars fans because we saw everything that's been going on with Star Wars lately we've seen what you know what jj abrams did with just you know rehashing a new hope and at the end of the day when it came to that film i still go back to this time and i know that there's still people out there who uh say well i never liked the film i still like the force awakens i think the force awakens is fine is it perfect no uh ray is probably one of the worst characters ever established and it's not because of anything other than the fact that she is a mary sue she is a very weak character from that standpoint. She just happens to be good at everything, and there's no real justification or explanation as to why that is the case. Then you go on to The Last Jedi, and The Last Jedi has just ruined everything in Star Wars because there are so many plot points in there that not only don't make sense, but also ruin not only past, but also all future Star Wars films. The fact that there's this thing called hyperspace ramming that has now been introduced into the Star Wars universe, even though it might look really cool, when you actually start to think about it for a second, it destroys everything. It makes you ask the question immediately, well, why didn't they just put a droid inside of an X-Wing and have it go light speed through the Death Star? Why don't they just keep on doing that from now on? Why, you know, for planetary warfare, why are they sacrificing so many lives and so many ships when they can do just those kind of things? It makes no sense. It makes no sense, and we can thank Ryan Johnson for that. And guess who greenlit that decision? Kathleen Kennedy. Kathleen Kennedy was part of the ride. Kathleen Kennedy knew everything that was going on. And guess what? She and Ryan Johnson get along very well. Very great example of this is this picture that, that Ryan Johnson posted at 10 o'clock last night with the picture of the crown, the queen, and it is, of course, Kathleen Kennedy with that smirk on her face with the Star Wars. Of course, we know that the shirt originally said the Force is female, but he has since, or someone at the point where, you know, at least the person that he maybe took this photo from has put Star Wars over the Force is female. And it, this is, this to me is one of the biggest taunts. And Ryan Johnson knows this. Ryan Johnson knows the people that follows his Twitter. Ryan Johnson knows the kind of reaction that this is going to get he did this for a specific purpose he did this because he knew it would piss us off well guess what ryan johnson you succeeded bud you succeeded and guess what you did as well not only we were already pissed not only were some of us even upset by the news of the other day not only were we already in the position where we were starting to fire up and get fired up and get geared up for 2019 now because of this you have made it even worse for yourself even worse for the future of star wars because you have taunted the fans constantly and consistently ryan johnson you have attacked fans you have called them oh you're just a bunch of overweight white uh, man baby sitting in your mom's basement and then you have all your friends saying oh yeah they're a bunch of insults oh yeah they're just a bunch of insults you're just a bunch of insults and that's the best thing that they have they, they can't actually look at the film itself and say this is why it's good here's a plot point here's the reason why all the plot points all the mistakes that you point out all the narrative flaws that you point out the objective narrative flaws that you point out why you're wrong or not even most of them would say, oh, well, you know, you're right about that, but I still enjoy that. No, instead they have to say, oh, you're just a, you're just a racist. You're just part of the alt-right conspiracy theory. You just, you just can't stand a woman and being in power. That's what you can't stand. That's why you don't like Ray. You don't like Ray because she's a strong, because she's a strong female and, and men don't like that. It's, it's, it's just beyond even talking about it at this point because it's very easy for us to point out in history all the badass female characters that have existed that men like. I'm sorry, but, like, when you actually just have to point them out, um, <coughs> Ripley, <coughs> I mean, there's so many that I could do that. But even then, even when you go down to their level, even when you go and play in the mud with them, because that's what they're doing. Like, they, they are in the dirt right now. When they have to go and start calling people certain names, when they have to go out and start to uh, question someone's uh, ability to uh, to get into a relationship, because that's what the whole insult thing's all about, that is just, just uh, this is that's just disgusting and disturbing. And it's people like Ryan Johnson that eggs those people on. That really supports those people. Even if it doesn't do it outright, you know that he supports it. And the reason why you can tell that, the way that you can tell that is the fact that he keeps on feeding this trollery. He keeps on feeding these disgusting people by even saying things himself. By, for example, calling people a bunch of man babies. The problem, though, with our response, the problem with us saying, well, look to this, look to these parts of history, is that we are essentially, in a way, justifying their argument. And it's sad that that is the case. When the reality of the situation is Ryan Johnson, oh, and I can thank Mr. Peabody for this. Here he is, guys. Ryan Johnson. I actually have Ryan Johnson here for the interview right now. 
Uh, hello everybody, uh, my name's Ryan Johnson, and, um, you know, you're just, you're just a bunch of, uh, man babies, and, uh, you know, I just, you know, the, the force is, the force is female, and I don't care what you have to say, because, um, you know, yeah, you're just a bunch of white, uh, male babies who are sexist, alt-right conspiracy theorists. I mean, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, Ryan Johnson, for just telling us how you honestly feel. But no, seriously, it's just ridiculous, and the way that we need to respond to this is not by trying to defend ourselves, because we don't need to defend ourselves at this point. We have the fact on our side. We have objective reality on our side. They are the ones who have nothing. They are the ones who have no way of explaining, no way of arguing for their point of view. So you know what we have to do? We have to, one, ignore these jack-offs, but secondly, you know what we need to do even more so? Boycott. This is the time. It is a moment like this. Episode 9 is coming out in 2019. Here is a game plan for us to move forward. The first and major point that we need to take care of, the first thing that comes up before Episode 9 comes out, Star Wars Celebration. There are going to be so many people that are part of the Phantom Menace that are going to be there. I know that Jeremy is going to be there. I know that Ivan Ortega is going to be there. I know that Ethan Van Skyver is going to be there. World Class Biasha, I'm pretty sure they're going to be there too. Lots of people, lots of these YouTubers are going to be there. And I'm not trying to say, oh, we need to start a fight. But what I'm saying is that people who are part of this, People who are part of this movement, if you've bought one of the shirts, for example, I have a Phantom Menace shirt, I have a Soylo shirt, wear those shirts. Show that they're, the numbers that they try and say, oh, just a small amount of people, are much larger than they think. And if people come out, if people say certain things, be there. Be there to say, no, this is not what we want. This is not what Star Wars should be. If for any reason Kathleen Kennedy comes out, boo her. Because you know what? At the end of the day, she needs to know that she is not popular. That, she, that a lot of fans, a large chunk of the fans, do not like her and do not like the direction that she has taken Star Wars in. So that's the first thing we need to do. That's the first part of the game plan is Star Wars Celebration. I'm not going to be actually at Celebration, or at least there's not a, not likely that I'm going to be at Celebration, but I am planning on being in Chicago. And I'm going to be wearing those shirts, and I'm going to try to meet up with people. But that's the other thing, too. We need to have our voices be loud and heard. And people will say, oh, you're just a loud minority of, of a bunch of white man babies. Don't even have to really justify that by the fact that we have one of the most diverse communities around. All the people that I just named is a great example of that diversity that exists. But even with that being the case, our voices need to come together. Our voices need to speak very loudly. And that's one of the first places that we can do that. Because if they think and they see that there's a problem, if they think and they see there's a large group of people who are against Star Wars Episode Nine, who are against Kathleen Kennedy, who are against this stupidity that's been thrust down our throats in the Star Wars universe, maybe, just maybe, they'll start to question things. And then when episode 9 comes out, two options, guys. These are the only two options. Boycott the film. Don't go see it. Don't care about it. Ignore all trailers. Ignore everything else. Or second, buy a ticket to another film and then go see it instead. And, you know, that way at least they're not getting money for that film. Hurt them where it matters. Hurt them at the box up. Because if episode 9, if episode 9 does not make money or barely breaks even and that is not a sign and that that is not enough... It's going to get worse from there because if episode 9, with all this buildup, with all this tension, can't deliver, nothing that they produce in the future unless they make any major changes will as well. So, guys, that is the game plan. Star Wars Celebration. Make our voices heard. Say it loud. Say it proud. Wear shirts. Go support the community. Be a part of it. Raise your voice as well. Don't let just us speak for you. Can you speak your uh, your thoughts? You speak, as, uh, as the phrase that they like to say all the time, you speak your truth. No, speak the truth. Because we know what the truth is. We know what's going on in Star Wars right now. We know the nonsense they're trying to shove down our throats. We know that people like Ryan Johnson are going to keep on doing this, are going to keep trying to silence us and to cast us out as some uh, extremist, some far right leaning extremist uh, conspiracy theorist group. They're going to keep on trying to do that. They're going to try and downplay us. But guess what? We can have our voices be loud and proud and also be heard. Star Wars Celebration 2019, Star Wars Episode 9. Hashtag. Boycott episode nine. Anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. You guys are amazing. Hope you feel about as pumped up about this as I do right now because I almost feel as sad as I feel. I also feel revitalized because I also feel like you know things seem to be going our way. Things seem, seem you know things seem to be going our direction. But now they have shown that they are going to double down on this. So it's time that we double down on what we believe in as well. So thank y'all so much for watching. Have a great day, and as always, God bless.